The Saskatchewan government estimates that the cost of the Liberals' unilaterally imposed job-killing carbon tax on farming families will be close to $10,000 per year for smaller farms, and for larger commercial operations, which are still, by and large, family-run, it will be closer to $100,000 per year. The cost of tractor and truck fuel, barn and shop heating and electricity, grain dryers and fertilizer and other inputs, as well as commercial trucking and grain freight, are all set to skyrocket, hurting family farms and consumers all the way down the supply chain. So I caught up to rising star conservative MP Shannon Stubbs down at the Vegreville rodeo grounds in the heart of her riding. It was a fitting place for us to have a talk about agriculture and the effects of the unilaterally imposed liberal carbon tax on the agricultural community and everyday Alberta families. Just listen. I've been meeting with some local farmers and producers and they're estimating that the cost increase of the carbon tax will add about eight to ten dollars a head for them. So you can imagine some of the numbers you'd be looking at for bigger operations, but also for smaller farmers who are whose profit margins are already very slim, who are already operating on the edge. And that's the fact about the carbon tax. It will disproportionately target and harm rural and energy based communities. It will disproportionately harm Canadians in remote and northern communities. And it will also be devastating to the people who can afford it the least, to the most vulnerable, to people on fixed incomes like seniors, people who are unemployed, who have no incomes, low-income Canadians, and the working poor. Never mind the costs it is going to pile on to uh, public organizations and to charities. So I'm hearing loud and clear from constituents and families and businesses across Lakeland that the carbon tax will be devastating to them. But there is another layer to this. In Lakeland, where Shannon Stubbs is from, and in my community and really in most of rural Alberta, the oil patch workers and farmers are the same people. The seasonal nature of the oil patch fits well with seeding and harvest. So many young farmers supplement their farming income in the oil patch, it's been this way for generations. I asked Shannon Stubbs about the impact she is seeing on those people in rural Alberta. Here. Yes, that's right. It's There's a cascading effect, um, particularly for local family farms who often have family members who work in oil and gas and right now are facing unprecedented challenges, either either without work or, or uh, will be without work imminently. And, you know, the problem is this is all exacerbated by the various other fiscal policies of the government where they've cancelled income, income splitting, where they've removed uh, benefits for uh, child care, for fitness and arts, for textbook credits. Um, they've limited TFSAs, they've increased taxes on others. So all of these combined are putting enormous pressure on the families in Lakeland. These Liberals who ride their bikes to the grocery store for free trade coffee beans because they care about the farmers in Colombia just don't understand that their carbon tax will be hurting the very people who grow their food and truly tend the land here in Canada. They're just that out of touch with the West. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. The Liberals' job-killing carbon tax will devastate rural Alberta. Go to StopTheCarbonTax.com and sign our petition.